Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co-host Brian. Hi, everybody. And joined more importantly, two special guests, uh, cast members, leads from Farmer Wants a Wife season two. We have Farmer Ty and Farmer Mitch. How y'all doing? How are we doing, guys? Thank you for your time today. Appreciate seeing you. How are you today? Thanks for having us. Doing great. Sunny weather here in LA. No, it must be nice to get off of the farm and get a little vacation there and spend yep. your time talking to guys like us. So we do appreciate it. Uh, got some awesome questions for you guys. Just want to get to know you a little bit better. Um, everyone should be checking out Farmer Wants a Wife season two. We do the reviews every week. Check out the playlist on our podcast and YouTube. Everything's at the reality, guys. Uh, guys, I want to ask you off the top. Have either of you prior to be on the show, have you ever watched a reality TV show? I watched a, a few here and there. And then before I did the show, I definitely watched season one. American That's- Idol, I think, if you consider that. But uh, yeah. I don't really, I didn't have a TV prior to the show or internet, so not not much. Oh, wow. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Ty, what kind of shows did you, did you catch before reality-wise? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, just stuff here and there. What's wild is my ex-wife and I actually did a pilot for a TV show so really yeah, so you were fun. almost part of this world before the farmer world yeah yeah it was <laughs> uh, it was a week's worth of uh, crazy time doing a reality show that's really cool i'm really glad that you said that you watched the previous season because we always say like when people have these when shows go keep going on and like people are on it for the first time it's really good to see like how the other season went about and you can like learn like what to do like how it goes and i, I always think that's a nice thing to know so it's actually really cool that you actually did that oh yeah yeah i binged it <laughs> <laughs> really smart we, we appreciate that yeah. probably want you go to the next one all right so um i, I have what about this process has gotten you guys to open up the most to the women mm. um you know I, I tried to be pretty open the whole time like when i met them in the very beginning you know this is what they get they see uh farmer mitchell and that's who's walking through the door and they're going to be with for the next couple weeks so um <laughs> I don't know. You know, they see what they get. Yeah. Through through the process, I was definitely myself. You get to, you do get to spend some time with the ladies off camera, of course, but um, really in the dynamic of the show, having the solo, the one-on-one dates, you do, you know, get to have that time. Even though you do have cameras in front of your face, you kind of forget about those, you know, a little bit through the process and you get to, once you have that one-on-one and you're talking and you're looking right, you know, somebody directly in their eyes, everything else kind of disappears a little bit. So you do get to open up. For sure. Those one-on-ones definitely make you open up a little bit more. It's uh, to be expected. I think that your, the show does a good job. You guys show a real slice of life. It isn't propped up. You're not doing things that you normally wouldn't be doing. So what would you say to somebody if they were to ask you about being a farmer? What's the best part about being a farmer? Maybe what's the worst part about being a farmer? For me, the best part is just waking up and being, you know, a five minute walk to a deer stand or uh, a three minute walk to the spring fed creek, you know, go fetch some water, literally just being in nature and out there and enjoying it and, you know, being good stewards of the land. The worst part of it, um, there's always something to do. You can never say I ain't got nothing to do today because there's (laughs) always work to be done. Yeah, for me, it's, it's just it's my lifestyle. I've, you know, grew up on a horse it'd be hard for me to ever be in a place where i couldn't have my horse right outside um and just yeah that that slow paced you know walk outside you do enjoy it there is always work to be done or a project you know there's never the if i get this project finished yeah. then i'll have everything taken care of <laughs> there's always something else and i think that's yeah part of the lifestyle no, that's great. I love that. It's a real honest answer. Like I said, again, just being able to see what your guys' lives really are like, I think really does put reality in reality TV. A lot of shows we cover a little bit more produced and a little bit made maybe for the entertainment factor, and it comes off very genuine. So you guys definitely did a good job portraying that. Thank you. Okay, what, is your, what is your least favorite job on that you have to do on the farm? For me, fencing, because in Middle Tennessee, we got a lot of rock, a lot of limestone, so a lot of shelves of uh, really hard rock that you got to break through, and uh, that's not very easy. 
Yeah, something along the same lines. There's if something, you know, tree falls down, you got to fix a fence or just those unexpected bad timing jobs that you have to take care of that you're like, dang, I, you know, I had a lot of other things planned today, but now I got to go take care of this and, and just move on. I did my fence in my yard last year myself, wood posts and all, and dug it all out myself. And man, I was just like, never again. So trust me, watching you guys lay down miles at a time. <laughs> oh yeah, it buffed it. Yeah, it's that's the it's the only gym I got that got a little <laughs> access to, which I appreciated. Um, I do have one more here for you guys too. Uh, if you weren't farmers, what would you be doing? I mean, for me, like I'm I'm into photography. Oh, cool. I've, I've done that within, you know, my discipline of rodeo and do events. Um, I really, really enjoy that. So, you know, it's actually something I can do and be a farmer at the same time. Mm -hmm. So if I wasn't able to do that at all. I would, I would probably try to pursue that 100% of the time. Um, definitely something with the outdoors related, you know, whether that be photography um, or some type of gardening, I don't know, just something outdoors. No, I think that, that makes, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Brian, go ahead. Is there anything else you have there, Brian? No, I think that's all five, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, guys, look, we know you have a lot of these interviews and stuff today. Um, anything you want to say to you know the fans, everyone watching? Like I said, we have pretty dedicated fans that really love your show specifically that come on and watch anything you'd you know, like to say to them in closing. Yeah, for sure. Uh, just want to say, you know, express my gratitude for everybody that's tuning in because um, – this is a very unique story that we have here and uh, get to meet these girls and um, it's real and you get to see it. And so really appreciate y'all following along with this and uh, just want to say, enjoy your day and thank y'all so much. Yeah. Thanks for having us on. Um, appreciate everybody watching. It was definitely a part of our life that, you know, you, you put everything into and you look back and for us, you know, for me, I get to sit there and watch it and relive all these moments and, you know, I feel that I feel that when I'm watching it with America, like, wow, that was that was a tough day or that was a great day. And it's just as fun to watch it back as it was to uh, be in the moment. Yeah, we appreciate it for sure. Um, everyone should be checking out Farmer Once a Wife. New episodes every week airing on Fox. All reviews here on the Reality Guys YouTube channel and social medias. Gentlemen, thank you so much. And uh, obviously, we don't know the ending yet, but good luck on the rest of your journey looking for love. So hope Appreciate to talk it. to you guys again. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Take Thank care. you. Have a good night. See you guys. Yeah. See ya.